Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. This is episode two of Sky Adventures. We are back today on this uh, mod pack from FTB. This is kind of cool. I I'm kind of running around here for my opening, and I notice it seems like I speed up. I'm going like walking, and it just goes faster, and I'm not sure why. Is it because of the podsole? Seems like I, I'm just not, I'm not pressing shift. I don't know, this is kind of weird. But anyway, we are here, we're back, and we're gonna to start to work on some more of these quests, okay? So let's get right into it here. You can see I have the string mesh. We could go for the flint mesh, and that might be something we can do. We also need to get a stone barrel here. We've already gotten a stone barrel. Looks like we need to get the crucible um, to get lava, and then we gotta go for today the transmutation table. Now, let's look at that really quick, because I believe it takes some obsidian. Uh, there's the tablet, there's the table. It does take obsidian, and it also takes our Philosopher's Stone. So we're definitely going to need to get lava, and to get lava, we need to get the Crucible. Okay, so how do we get the Crucible? The Crucible is unfired, it takes clay. Fortunately, we have a clay chicken, but this is porcelain clay, which takes bone meal. So I think we're going to have to get bone meal. Let's figure out how to do that. Okay, there's different ways to do it. Obviously, you get it from <laughs> bones and things, but I think we can get this from a um, from sifting, I believe. Yes. So if we have a string mesh and we take dust, we have a 20% chance to get it. That's not too bad. So we have to go ahead and get down to that level. So let me uh, get a couple tools here, and we're going to start this process. All right, if you recall... If I have dirt, I can use the Philosopher's Stone to make cobblestone right there, okay? Then if I hit it with a hammer, it will then make gravel. And gravel we hit with a hammer will make sand. Or we could have just gone from sand right from dirt. That's even faster. Watch this. See, I just thought I was doing something else. If you do this here, the right at sand, we just have to go right to, to dust. Okay, and then those things go through here. Maybe we'll get some bone meal. So I'm just going to take some dirt. And I'm going to start to convert it over and see what we get. Um, I'm going to sleep too. So let me get uh, some time. I'm going to do this process. This will take a little bit. And hopefully we'll have enough bone meal when I get back. As you can see here, I have the seven bone meal that I need. So I need clay now. And I still haven't received any clay from this clay chicken. So that's one way we can get clay. The other way is with these barrels like this right here. We can then put, maybe it's this one. We can fill it with water and put in dust. So I'm going to get four more pieces of dust. That way we have a lot of water. And then hopefully we can get some clay and make this crucible. Whichever one comes first, I don't care. Um, it'd be nice to have two water uh, sources here so I can do an infinite water source. That would be easy too. Or it could rain and fill these up. I don't know. I'm going to try to get, like I said, four pieces of dirt left so that I have dust ready to go. So we're going to continue on. Hopefully I'll get enough clay. All right, so this uh, chicken here laid one little piece of clay. That's really, really slow. So we're going to have to probably do this way as long as I get some water. I'm waiting on this chicken right here to give us some more water, and then we'll move on. So it, it's just taking some time, guys, and uh, hopefully I'll get some progress here soon. I just play the waiting game. I just keep on harvesting trees and getting more resources. So uh, hopefully we'll get the water and the clay that we need soon. I do have one water source. I'm still waiting for the chicken to produce another one. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to expand this base out. Um, I like the idea of doing that right now. So we're going to do some work here. I'm going to get some slabs. Here we go. That's a bunch of slabs. And I'm going to go out a ways from right over on this side here. I'm going to do, I think, I'm not sure. Let me go around it a little bit. I want to go out a few blocks and then I want to make a farm. So maybe let's go like seven blocks out here. This is always tricky for me. I never like doing high work. It's a pain. There we go. Okay, so we're going to make this kind of like a pathway. And the first thing I want to do here is I want to make a farm. I want to be able to get some grass and some wheat going. And the reason why is we can start to get these nesting pens and use animal nets. And we can kind of make some chicken as far as what we want to do for resource production. I think that'll be really good. Uh, it's something I'm familiar with. So we're going to try that out. Now, I want to make this farm over here go all the way around. So we have to make some sort of 
of a block. I don't know that we want to have maybe a step up to it. So we're going to go up here and then we're going to make the border. And I don't know what I want to make. I want to make it look kind of nice. So let's see. Um, I don't really have a lot except for logs, to be honest. So maybe we'll just make it out of logs. So typically the farm is nine by nine. And so we'll do a nine by nine on the interior side. So let's see if I do it like this. Come on, oh, this one right here, huh? Oh, I know what it is. I gotta go up one more here, hold on. There we go. So this is right here is where I have to be. And it's, well, that's not bad. Um, I want to make this all the way around, about fell down right there. So there, see there's two here. I'm gonna do four this way, two, three, four, okay? And this is right here would be the corner. And I don't know, I'm gonna think I might put a slab here for the corner just cause it's a corner. And we're gonna go all the way around. Let me finish this up and start working on the dirt for this while I wait for this chicken to give me some uh, more water. <laughs> All right, I really don't like it when my recording gets out of sync. Basically, by out of sync, I mean that when I hit the button to start recording, um, it didn't hit. So then when I hit the button again to stop, it actually starts a recording. So I have a bunch of recordings of me doing all this stuff in between clips. So I'll try to try to summarize just in case it doesn't work out. But basically, we just made a flint mesh, which is over here, and we're trying to get iron. The reason why we're trying to get iron is if we can get some iron, we can get a bucket and that will help us to get over here so that we can get some, some water in these things and then put the dust in it. And that way we can get some clay because we're trying to get the crucible in our quest out here. And then we're going to be able to get the transmutation table because we have to get lava. So it's kind of a long process and I'm sorry if some of my clips didn't make it. Um, I'll have to see when I start editing. I did start to work on a farm over here and we have a bunch of the dirt and this looks really, really nice, but we're going to have to work um, getting this figured out and getting all this over here so that we have the gravel so that we can get the iron so we can get the stuff we need. <sighs> okay, let me get back to it and hopefully the next video we'll be back in sync. All right, this uh, chicken just laid an egg before I got the chance to get the bucket. So we're gonna put it over here. I already have an infinite water source. So I'm gonna throw it in here. Are you kidding me? Oh, I can't, oh, what the heck? I thought I could throw that in there. That's interesting that you can't do that. Huh, I thought you could. So it looks like we're gonna be stuck trying to get the bucket to get it in here or else get rainwater uh, because it doesn't let, let you put it into anything. Interesting, okay. Well then I won't use it right now. I will make some dirt and over here in the center and make up a little uh, place for that and we'll keep on going. I'm just gonna keep on making gravel um, so that I can get this up to 12. When I get to 12, I can make three iron ingots and then I'll make a bucket and then we're good. So let me continue on here. Yay, we finally did it. Here we are, we have three ore chunks. We're gonna throw it in here and we're gonna wait for a second and we're gonna have three iron ingots to make a bucket. Okay, three iron ingots, there we go. Now I'm gonna go over here and to this quest. An iron ingot, it consumes it, darn it. I don't want it to consume it, so we're gonna wait. I'm not gonna do that quest. I need the bucket more than I need the, the uh, quest achievement there. So now, yes, and there we go, and we have some dust, just like that. That's what I've been waiting to do. And this, we can take this and put it down and use a shovel on it, and there we got some pieces, and I already have three, and there's seven. There we go, things are moving now. This is where I wanted to get to. Okay, so we gotta get seven of those, seven porcelain clay. We do that, we get our unfired crucible, we stick it into the furnace, and we get a crucible in just a second. That's fantastic. Now all we need to do is to uh, have it uh, make cobblestone for us. So how are we gonna do that? Well, I'm going to take over here. We have some concrete here. I'm gonna take out this, I know I'm using the wrong tool. I'm gonna take out this one spot right here. Hopefully there's nothing below it, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna make this 
Yeah. I'm going to take the lava egg that we have in here, right here, and I'm going to put that in there, and we're going to have lava, just like that. Now, that should then allow this to be cooked. So now I just have to get some uh, some more dirt to make into cobblestone, and we're going to put it in there, and we'll make lava. This is going to be great. I almost forgot. We need our pickaxe for this. I forgot to... Uh, yeah, to go, where is the, do I have the pickaxe on me? Axe, there it is. I have to uh, pick this up and get the quest for it. So, give me a second here, if it doesn't fall in the lava. There it is. Now, <laughs> we'll go back out here and do that. Doesn't consume the item. Do that, and we get 25 cents. Okay, there we go. We're done with that. We're almost to the transmutation table. Let me put it back, and let's me get some cobblestone, and we'll start to work on a process. We're getting lava. I think I can make a cobblestone generator here. If I make this spot here, be where the water flows to. And yeah, I'm gonna see if I can do this for, by memory. I believe if I have flowing water up to it, this will then turn into a block. So I need to move this um, water source that I have to over here, I think. Nothing's below it. Okay, let's grab that block because you know we gotta save everything. And let me take out that, and let's put that other piece back in over here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, if I just move this block here, we have an infinite water source. Great. Now, does this make cobblestone? It does. All right. So this is a great thing here. Um, let me see if I can go down one more block here, so I kind of like have a spot where I can stand. Okay, good. So this might help us to get cobblestone. <laughs> a little risky there. Excellent. So this is an easy way now for me to get cobblestone. I should have thought of this before and I didn't. So it's kind of funny. So once we get enough pieces of cobblestone here, I can just take this cobblestone and throw it in here. I'm adding it to the crucible. And you can see here it's filled up and it's slowly generating lava at 3x rate. That's not bad. It's pretty good for right now. And we're just going to keep on generating cobblestone here like this. And hopefully we'll get some uh, buckets of lava. We knew we had to get some obsidian. Let's go look at the transmutation table real quick. This is the next one we're working on. I don't know why I'm in caps. Transmutation tablet or table. Is it tablet? We want the table. Okay. It's going to take four obsidian, which is just lava and water. So that's going to be pretty easy. We just have to wait for this... Uh, this crucible. So let me get the more cobblestone, see what we can get here, and we'll start this process up here. As you can see here, the crucible now says it has liquid lava over a thousand, and you need a thousand to get a bucket. So if I right click the bucket on here, we now have a bucket of lava. Now over here, remember I had the stone barrel, and what I've done is I've put a water source above it and just put a ring around so it doesn't fall down. Now what happens here though is I put the lava into there, and guess what? we now have a piece of obsidian in there. So I right click on this, and there it is, we've got obsidian. So that's what I'm gonna do for the next three pieces, wait for the lava, and get four obsidian. One thing that's nice now that I can make cobblestone is that it lets me make these blocks a lot faster. And then I just use hold shift, there we go. It's now basically dirt. So I can now make this farm the way I want. And I'll be doing that in just a second. I'm still waiting on some more lava, so we'll we'll have that in just a little bit, and we'll have the transmutation table. That's gonna be great. Okay, this is it. It's over a thousand. We'll get the lava, we'll put it in here, we'll tap it, and we have four obsidian. Now we have to get four stone. We go here, and there we go. Now we have the philosopher's stone in here, but you notice it does not consume it, and that's a good thing. So let's get this quest done, because this is the one. Did we already get that one? Yes. This one we really want to get. We get the transmutation table, doesn't consume. We get basalt, marble, a $20 bill, and a legendary loot crate. All right, we'll look at that stuff in a second. This is really cool, and I've not used this yet, so I'm going to play around with this for a second. But what this does, in essence, is you have a way of using this thing called EMC. I'm not sure what this stands for. I need to look that up. But imagine if you put points into this, you can take points out. So if I take a cobblestone, let's see, which is it? One of these is here. Is that work? Okay. 
I put it here, and it learned, L-E-A-R, N-E-D, learned cobblestone. But it had a value of 1. And you can see it says EMC of 1, or EMC of 3, or whatever, 4. These have different items for different values. And the nice thing about this is, is that once you learn it, I'll put that in there because I need to learn it. And basalt, let's learn that too. Okay, but let's say I have those things that I want to get. Um, I have one marble. Maybe I want to get three. I should be able to just grab this and grab it out. See, and there we go. Now, I don't know why the other pieces disappeared, but let's put one back. And you can see there it has basically showing me what I have available based on the EMC I have. So as we get more items, we can then put this in here and then get the parts that we want. Okay, so now then let's go open this loot crate and find out what we get. Ooh, iridium chickens. Wow, we have iridium chickens. Pretty much we have iridium whenever we want now. That's fantastic, isn't it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why would that catch fire? There wasn't any lava there. That's interesting. That's okay. We'll change it out Oh, for some cobblestone so I can go and get up here and get it. That was uh, very interesting, actually. Don't know why that happened. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Alrighty. I've taught this a bunch of different things. Just testing this out, throwing things in here. You know, I throw the bucket in there. Well, I can make more buckets. Now that I have 22,486 EMC, I can make whatever I want. I made some torches here, and the reason why, look at the spawning areas that can happen. That's not very good. It's not very safe. I thought it was all lit up by glowstone. It is definitely not. So we're going to uh, put some stuff here help our situation okay uh, I'm gonna put one here and here and that got rid of all of that and we have to get here so we have enough light everywhere so nothing spawns okay and that should cover us now I planted some grass and we're gonna let this grow and what we're doing with this is we want to get enough of wheat so that we can make nesting pens I really want to get the chickens going I mean I, I envision some sort of um, generation of materials with the chickens to go into the EMC. So you just see it just takes wood and a nest. Now the nest is hay, hay is wheat. So we're going to get some wheat here. I'm going to get this growing a little bit and then we'll be okay. Well everybody, I think that's all I have time for today. Try to do a lot of recording. I don't know if it's going to work out though. Um, I have one video recording so it's 22 minutes long, but that was because it was recording when I wasn't supposed to re be recording. So I really don't have an accurate time of how much time I've recorded. So this may be a short video. This may be a long video. I won't know until I get to editing. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm going to get to editing right after this clip and we're going to see how that goes. <laughs> so anyway, I think that's about it. If you like this video, please click that like button takes just a moment. Click that like button, little thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. That'd be great. That tells you too I'm doing great. Also, if you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. Let me know when I do something wrong, which I did a lot of this episode. Uh, last episode, people uh, mentioned that I forgot the loot crate, and I did. I left it in the chest. So thank you for telling me about that. And of course, if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? just takes a moment and it certainly does help us all out so thanks again everybody have a great night bye bye